This is Just a Thought, a podcast for parents wanting to change their mind and change their lives. This is episode number 38, Orchestrating Life. Hello. I have a friend who is an extremely talented musician, and she often performs at concerts and events, and there's one comment she hears from people a lot that really annoys her. It's, I wish I could play the violin the way you do. (laughs) That seems like it would be a nice compliment, right? But no, it irritates her. She thinks, don't they know they could play the violin like me? They could play like she does. Maybe not everyone. Probably need to have hands to play the violin. But I don't know. Maybe you don't even need hands. Some people do crazy things with their heads and mouths and feet these days. So I don't know. But for most people, if they put in the time and effort she does, they too would play very well. So when they say, I wish I could play like you, in her mind, it puts her on a pedestal that she doesn't want to be on. As if fate just made her a really good violin player. And that's just the way it is. To her, the comment seems to invalidate all that she puts into studying the violin every day and has put in for years. Similarly, and you know it's me talking because lately I've been obsessed with talking about cleaning my house, but (laughs) there was a time I thought that some people just had clean homes, clean bathroom sinks. Somehow I just ended up with all the dirty ones every time. (laughs) Like, I would always think maybe I just need a newer home and then it'll stay clean. And new paint does make everything better. But the truth is, is everything gets dirty, even when it's not being used. Everything gets old. And sure, there's this sweet spot for some people who tidy as they go and clean up after themselves. And it seems like their spaces are always clean and gorgeous. But a space is only clean and beautiful because someone made it that way. Our lives are like this. We can have just about anything we want. And we can for sure choose to want everything we have. Some people might be further away from the things they want than other people. But is it still possible? Definitely. Every day we have a new opportunity to create a life we love. And to love the life that has already been created. To love God to praise him, to love ourselves, to love each other, to love the people we have responsibility for. It's interesting that every single day is like a little symbol of a lifetime. We're born, we awaken to life like we awake in the morning. We wake to circumstances we are in. I saw a diagram the other day that showed what we can control in a circle and what we can't control, what's out of my control, on the outside of the circle. On the outside of the circle is the actions of others, the past, the opinions of others, what happens around me, the outcome of my efforts, the future, how others take care of themselves, what other people think of me, what's in my control are my thoughts and actions, how I speak to myself, how I spend my free time, my boundaries, how I handle challenges, the goals I set, and what I give my energy to. Interestingly, when we focus on the things that are in our control, they do influence the things out of our control exponentially in really great ways. So that's kind of cool. But in order for for us to truly live intentionally, we just focus on those things in the circle of our control. So we wake up every morning to our circumstances. Some things are the way they are because of our choices and some things because of the choices of others and some things are just the way they are. And then we all have opportunity throughout our day to work with what we can control to make our life what we want it to be. The biggest part of that being our attitude, of course. And it's safe to assume it probably won't all be fun and easy. Life will always be 50-50. 50% awesome and 50% terrible. Because we're here to learn about opposites. Remembering that helps us to be flexible and to know that Some of our plan will work and some of our plan won't, and that's okay. Our job is to make our life more fun and easy for us. My job is to make my life more fun and easy for me. And it can be a fun challenge to try and see how it goes. 
and when I'm feeling exhausted and like life is not fun or easy, instead of trying to escape it, I can pat myself on the back and say, I'm so proud of you. You are so tired. You've been working hard and showing up and doing what you're doing. And that's awesome. Of course you're tired. Of course you're exhausted. You're doing hard things. It's interesting to me that the times when we are in a rush for a circumstance to change, it's because we want to feel better. But we can always feel better now. We can feel better by being kind to ourselves, acknowledging our challenges, and making a plan for what we want to do next. All this is temporary. So to finish my analogy, after we live our day or our lives, night always comes, just like death. And we get to kind of look back and and see the life we've lived. But luckily, we get to practice this every single day of our lives. We get to practice these little mini lives. And I recommend that we start right now on making today the life we want. Because it really is a symbol of the life we want. And every single day, we'll end up building the life that we want eventually. This is Christina Stead. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and a disciple of Jesus Christ. He loves you, he loves me, and he loves us. This is Just a Thought, a podcast for parents wanting to change their mind and change their lives.